Hi, once again, this is Carissa Turway with uh, Mamaki. Today's Rational Link training was going to be over the jig print options that you have for the Mamaki flatbeds. What I'm going to go over today is to show you how you can print multiple images and multiple pieces of substrates on your flatbed at the same time by using this jig print option. As you see, I have Rasterlink 6 Plus open, and if you have a flatbed, you will see in your menu options that your jig print option is there. And now we'll go through actually having to set up a custom jig print. So my artwork is 16.25 um, by 16.25 because I want it to bleed over on the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up 16 by 16 pieces of material on my bed. As you see here, the blue line that you see is the actual bed size of the JFX 200 as you see here. So we're going to come over here and we will um, click Jig Print. Now we're going to give it a name so we're going to type in 16 by 16 and I'm going to hit the plus button to add that name. When I added that you'll see that the jig definition comes up. So first one is the size so again this is the width of the table. So if your material is 48 by 96 or something like that you can put your material um, piece here if that's what you're wanting and you see that the blue area over on the right changes or you can set up for of course the whole bed size which I will do today. Here is the position again if you're having a piece of material and you're setting it or you're offsetting it from your zero point on the table. You can change that here. Of course I'm going to be putting it at zero. This here is going to matter so because so this is the size of your material. So we're going to put 16 by 16 and counts is going to decide how many I can actually get on this table. So I'm going to see how many if I've butted them together, it looks like I can get six across and three sections up. Now you'll notice there's no bleed area here. So I'm going to put that in now. So I'm going to put 16.25 by 16.25 and you'll see that it's actually adding some bleed area. So if I was going to put um, 17 by 17 you see that now there's white space in between my squares. But I'm just going to want to do 16.25 by 16.25 that way it stays in my areas and now I will be able to use the full bed and get 18 pieces of material on my bed. So the first position again this is going to depend on where you're actually going to place your first piece of media. Um, here you, of course we are going to want to put the first piece at the zero zero mark. If you don't want it at the zero zero mark of course you can move that around um, but be sure that you're not going to move your pieces of material off the um, edge of the bed. What this layout option here is, is it means when you bring the artwork into your individual areas, how is that artwork going to be positioned? Do you want it to be positioned on the bottom left or do you want to center it in the middle? Of course I'm going to center mine in the middle because I'm going to want my bleed area to be equalized top, bottom, right, and left. Again, if you want um, to change, say that you, own, you want to use this jig print in the future but you only have um, 14 pieces of material. 
If you have only 14 pieces of material, you can uh, select each one of these and skip it. Right? Or maybe you want to skip number three. You can, of course, select it from uh, the pull down menu or again just skip each one, which is also nice to be able to do. So the great thing about this is, is now we've got our jig print option set up the way that we want it to get 18 pieces of 16 by 16 pieces of material. Now I'm going to come up here once again and click the green um, addition button. It's going to ask you if you want to overwrite that file and we're going to push yes. Now that it's done that, it has become part of your a pull down menu. As you see, you can have um, letter samples I have for 8.5 by 11s, and then of course our 16 by 16 that we just made. That way, if you're printing um, these pieces of material or the same size of materials um, over and over again, you can put different pieces of artwork into the jig print that you have already made. Another great thing about this is, is uh, this option up here, which is print the jig outline. At this point, the jig outline is going to come up and it will give you two different options. You can print this on, um, if you push print, it's going to make it a job in your raster link. I'll do that now so I can show you how it comes into raster link. Or you can click this and you can save it. And if you save it, of course, you can save it as a, a PDF document. And when that PDF document, you can save it to wherever you need. And then you can bring that into um, Illustrator or you can also use that as a cut line so that if you're going to make a, uh, a jig out of PPC for pieces of material that need to be inset, then you can do that here as well. But this is a really good way to save out that document and know exactly where on the table these pieces are going to land. All right. So again, you can uh, change the line color if you want. You can um, offset it to uh, where you want. Of course, we're not going to offset it. And then your line width, you can make the um, lines thinner or thicker. So I'm going to show you how. I'm going to click off this jig print for a second because um, I want to bring in multiple pieces of artwork. But now we have our jig definition in there and saved and ready to go. So if we go back over to our jobs, you'll see down at the bottom that our jig print has come in. Now what I like to do is get really thin butcher paper and put it down on the table. That way the vacuum still works uh, through the tissue paper or the butcher paper. And then I like to print this jig print onto that paper so that I know exactly where those lines are going to be. Now the numbers are not going to come up, but if you look and how it prints. It's just going to print those black lines on that paper or onto the table so that you know exactly where to place your pieces of um, artwork and then you can go back and set that um, material into those um, lines and it makes it very easy to know exactly where your pieces are going to be, especially if you're going to do a two-sided image that makes it very easy to turn the material over and print the second side. So now I'll show you how to bring in um, several different pieces of artwork. So all of these pieces of artwork are about the same size. I'm going to select all three of them and then I'm going to push arrangement and I'm going to arrange these images together. When the arrangement comes together, of course, you will see them uh, linked together here. Then once these are linked together, 
then I'm going to come over here into the jig print option once again. So in the jig print option, I'm going to hit that I want to print the jig print. And again, if it, if your uh, 16 by 16 or the one that you want to use is not selected, you can find that from the pull down menu or again, uh, create a custom one like we had just did. So instead of the jig definition, we're going to come over here to jig layout. In the jig layout, it's going to show you the pieces of artwork that you have in. So maybe you want five copies of your butterfly and you want ten copies of the girl with the sunglasses and we're going to fill those other three spots with our texture file. This allows you to be able to print several different images at the same time and saves a lot of time where you're not doing this one or two pieces at a time. You're able to do the 18 pieces of material all during one print. Again, you can scale individually. So on each individual artwork, you can scale. So if I want to make sure that, um, if you see if I do it 100%, then if I come over and over you'll be able to see those areas where the overprint so you want to be sure to keep that at a hundred percent or of course we made it at 16.25 we'll keep that this one is a hundred percent at 16.25 again you can uh, change the scale of it here you can rotate them if you need to also here or you can mirror it if you're going to be doing second surface printing on some images. So this really allows you to customize your bedside and your bed table to be able to print uh, many different pieces of pre-cut material all at the same time and really save yourself a lot of problems.